Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. I did some recording in this earlier today. Uh, I made a slight error. I'm still in the learning phase. I was saving to my external hard drive, which is plugged in, and for some reason it likes to replug itself in, so to speak. So anything that's being written to it instantly gets corrupted. So I got through two or three scenarios. I think it was just two. Got through two scenarios before that happened. Um, so there's a couple you won't see. One was an oil change, so no big deal. And the other was a timing belt, so a big deal. But you live and you learn. I'm now saving to the PC as opposed to the external hard drive. Also, it's about 11 o'clock at night. And I just finished a recording session in a new series that I'm starting um, in a pretty scary game. And uh, so I'm all done screaming like a little girl, and I've already used the restroom, and I don't want to record in that anymore tonight. So <laughs> I said I'll do some car mechanic simulator. Uh, that way I can sleep tonight, because I wouldn't have been able to after just playing the other game. So uh, we're here working on this yellow... Mini van, small hatch, something. Well, let's see what they need done to it. <sighs> the car makes horrible sounds when I drive slowly on bumpy roads. Find and eliminate the problem. This, oh, okay. Well, I thought they were, uh, they were gonna have us do a test drive. I guess we could still do one. Normally, you would test drive the vehicle to verify the concerns. But right now, we're going to put it in the air, hide the body, and show the condition. Which doesn't help, the conditions are unknown. So, we don't always have to go by their suggestions. So, we are going to do a test drive. It wasn't in the RO, so our service manager doesn't feel that we need to. But we are. So it's a good chance for me to screw up driving. It's weird using the left hand. Oh, this thing is slow. And jerky. I don't, oh, oh, that's, oh, oh. Very jerky. Oh, we did all right in that one. It's got my game audio a bit too loud, I think. A slalom in a minivan. Actually, Honda has... Well, not Honda, but there's a, a company that makes... They took a Honda Odyssey and set it up for racing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's finish up this test drive. Break way early. Yeah, see, I'm learning. I'm learning how to drive. Takes me a while, but I got it. Some of that back and forth and a couple of the cones. Don't worry about those. They'll be fine. Okay, now let's hide the body, show the condition. So, what's our culprit? I thought I saw some red over here. Okay, we got one bad sway bar in link. Uh, everything else looks green, so it's probably a lower mileage car. Sway bar inlay. We'll get that from the side. So let's hide, show the body, get rid of that. Let's just take this wheel. Oh, wait. It was the other side, wasn't it? No, get out of this. Thank you. We'll go to this side and do it. Well, yeah, let's find out what it is before we start ordering parts. Uh, that's <laughs> a problem that I've run to a few times in the dealership is a car will come in and the service advisor will speak to them about it service advisor will think they know what's wrong with it and start ordering parts based on their what they think is the diagnosis and it turns out not to be correct and then we have parts that aren't aren't actually what the car needs all right so let's go in here car parts shop we need what do they call it? It's a sway bar in link. 
What do they call it here? Suspension part, shock absorber. Oh, sway bar inlay. Oh. This is a right. Fifty dollars. Alright. How much were we making from this? Hello, there we go. Read my clicks. Two hundred bucks, that's not bad. We'll make one fifty from this, if that's their only concern. Alright, so we need to go to assembly mode. Put the new one on. Cannot, there we go. It's weird. Bolt it in. Let's reinstall their shiny wheel. Back out. Now they should be good to go. Yeah! Proceed to next RO. Ooh. What's next on our list? Just bought this crappy car. <laughs> I need to make basic maintenance. Replace air and oil filters. Change the oil. And check the timing, please. Check timing? Hmm. I wonder how we do that in this game. Crappy car? It doesn't look crappy. It's a Genesis Town car. And look at the paint. It's this pretty pink color. I won't lie, I would I would drive something like this. That's a cool little car, like a little Mazda 2, maybe? A Ford Fiesta? Something like that? Yeah, I actually know a few people who drive Mazda 2s. Uh, if you're watching, you know who you are. Alright, so... What auto do they want us to do again? Uh, air and oil. Timing. Alright, let's take care of the oil first. Oh, come on. Alright. Oil filter's out. Wrong button. <clears throat> now we get to use the drain pan. I tried using it last time. I tried to record that you won't see because it messed up. But, uh... I now... No... Oh, wrong button. Yet again. I still haven't got the hang of the buttons on this game. There's pretty much two, but... Okay. So... We're looking at... Right here. Oh. Okay. We're broken free. Now, I want to look... Oh, give me some better view here. Let's remove the drain plug. Yeah! I did pretty well in that, if I say so myself. Now we're gonna want assembly mode. And... Oh. Okay, it does that for us. Cool. You are done, sir. Put you back in the back so we can drain you later. Oh. There we go. Okay, so the oil's changed. Drop. Drop it back down. And air filter, I think they said. So let's pop the hood. Get inside. So this is gonna have to come off. Oh, I wanna be disassembly mode. Pop this off. Pop the mass airflow sensor off. air cover. It is advised that you keep up basic maintenance of your vehicle. Uh, if you don't want to do it yourself, take it to your nearest uh, dealership or independent shop if you so wish and get that taken care of. Alright. So we need an air filter. Yes. An oil filter. Is. I know we have those. So let's go ahead and reinstall those. Go back to assembly mode. Yeah. Well, that wasn't looking too good. Just a plastic little piece. If this were a Volkswagen, it would have 40 different 
random nuts and bolts on it. From Torx heads to... Come on, let me... Let me screw you in. Thank you. From Torx heads to triple squares. A lot of people have never even heard of triple squares. I hadn't until started working on Volkswagens. I will be working on Mini soon enough. I was asked to move to a fellow shop that's in our uh, family of dealerships. So I'll be moving across the street to the Mini dealership. I'll be working there. Let's take that out of the way first of all. Now, they want us to check the timing. I don't I don't know if that means just... No, that's not what I want. Show condition. Oh, good lord. Okay. It's, um... Oh. 42% on that. Probably not gonna want that. Stop it. How about this idler pulley? 42%. The water pump... Forty-two percent. Ooh. My advice would be change it all. Um, I don't... I think that's what they want. As far as checking time, and we know it needs a belt. Did they pay us for any of this, or...? Right-click. Thank you. Lord. Spot to grab your car. I need to make basic maintenance. Replace air filter. Change oil and check timing, please. Let's uh, let's make sure we fill it up with oil. <laughs> right, and I pour the oil in. It fills up, and it takes a lot. And there it goes. I guess that's fine. Okay, it puts that back on automatically. Alright, so the only thing that was in the red, let's just do both the belts. So, Obama Serpentine belt, and uh, Timing belt. Is anything else in a bad shape? I can't remember. So, we'll take this off. Then we'll take the tensioner off. No tensioner. There we go. Let's remove the tensioner and take the timing belt off. I assume the timing's set whenever I put the belt back on. Now we can do this. Now I put... No, I'm not going to want to do that. I'm going to want to put this back on. Come on. 42%. And... Wrong button. Serpentine belt on. Is that it? Yep, alright. So we're ready with that one. I want to uh, get rid of some of these spare parts. Man, making a lot of money from these old parts. Oh. <laughs> Nothing for a broken timing belt. I guess it's not broken, it's just worn to a 0% level, which might as well be broken. Alright, actually had a Volkswagen minivan, which is actually a Chrysler Town & Country minivan that's rebadged as a Volkswagen due to some deal they had, uh, contract. But uh had one of those where the serpentine belt broke and got caught inside the crank pulley and actually went through the front main seal into the oil uh, pan and then clogged up the pickup tube for the oil pump. Um, that one was a, a crazy one. <laughs> Very crazy. Alright, let's get this car out of here. It's been in here long enough. Time is money and I'm not making it. Oh, I thought something clicked down there. Car is incomplete. Oh, really? <sighs> oh, 
that anal. No suitable parts to. Oh, jeez. <sighs> well, congratulations. I just bought them a new engine cover because I'm an idiot. Can we get a used one? Plastic engine cover. Oh, man. I forgot to put it back on. 83%. That's not bad for a used part. Uh, yeah, I forgot to put it back on. And sold it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes, proceed to the next order. Oh, man. Stupid mistakes, man. Just the small stuff. Stuff you gotta really watch out for if you work on cars for a living. My car has huge has a huge mileage and it started to sound terrible while turning. A huge mileage? Oh, okay. Like it's a high mileage vehicle. Started to sound terrible while turning. Well I don't want to do a test drive. And that's no help at all. Alright, test drive it is. Ooh, it's a quick little vehicle. Oh, understeer. Oh. automatic transmission. It didn't want to work at first. Yeah. Blitzing the course. I got my finger stuck on both pedals. Hmm. Little late brake technique there. It's my specialty. Alright, now let's try this again and see what our problem is. Yep. Why is that tire? That's weird. Alright. So it needs both front axles. We can do that. Oh. Go ahead and buy them so I don't have to go in and then come back out. Drive axle left. Drive axle right. Of course, one is cheaper, because it's shorter. Nope, not that, that. How much are they paying us for this, by the way? 1400 Oh, we are banking on this one. Making that money! Back up, dude. Really? Come on. Oh. Sometimes this gets a little frustrating. Mouse is messed up. I think I can take this out without. Yeah, that's great. You know, look at that while the bolt is way over here. I can. I can take it out without taking anything else off. I don't know why I act surprised. I do that on a weekly basis. Usually get one or two CV boots a week. Uh, the CV boot is the these are constant velocity joints or uh, drive axles and if you see right here and right here there's a boot that covers the joint and keeps grease inside and if the boot gets cut the grease can escape and then the joint is riding without lubrication and then it'll start to make a click noise and get significantly worse so it's a little better view with that one there we go oh I don't know why I got out of that I should have put the other one back on Well, I'm learning efficiency. Woo! There we go. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll put 92% on this side. I'm surprised I haven't had a tire rotation yet. 
I guess that would be hard to follow with wheels, not really. Everything sort of goes into a giant inventory. Let's put this back in. Get a super close-up view of the nut as we put it back in. The bolt. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Big money. Yeah. Alright, last one. Let's rinse through this one. Alright, alright, what have we got? I hit something hard on a bumpy road and I assume that it broke one of the exhaust pipes. Examine it, please. Alright, we don't need to test drive that one for that. Back to the old green van here. I think this is the one we put a fuel pump in. Maybe it was just the fuel filter, I'm not sure. Okay, so, we're gonna go to examine the condition. That one's 90-something percent. It's 95%. percent 95 percent, 22 percent. Catalytic converter's good. This exhaust is good, and I can't get a hold of that one. So, we need this here. This is the exhaust pipe middle. I don't know why I backed out of that. Alright, now let's disassemble. Four sneaky bolts way in the back. Yeah, this one's not too hard to finish this out with. Uh, exhaust pipe rear. That's not what we need. There we go. Take this section off. We've already done one exhaust system. Or worked on it. Replaced both the mufflers on it. This part is damaged. You gotta watch these bumpy roads, people. Alright, now, let's back out of this and go buy a new one. Exhaust pipe middle. Exhaust pipe AV6, exhaust pipe front, exhaust pipe middle. <clears throat> $100, how much are they paying us? $200, alright, so. $100 parts, $100 labor. Let's just turn around and actually look at what we're working with here. And we'll go to assembly mode. Put the brand new part on. Install your new exhaust system. Or just the new exhaust pipe. Everything else is fine. 90, high 90 percentage for all of them. Ah, uh, last bolt. Oh yeah, and then we got the rear muffler. Four more bolts. Boring. Aha! There we go. I fixed the decal. I fixed the car. Lower the lift. Thank you. Set and ready to go. Let's take a look at what we're going to be working on next. I wonder when we upgrade shops. Or if we can upgrade shops. The faster I drive, the louder this horrible noise gets. Also notice that the dashboard lights are getting dimmer. I'm going to go out on a limb and say alternator. Uh, we'll find out next time, though. Let's see, learning books, used car parts. None of this stuff up here does anything. 8400. Just looking to see if there was a way we could upgrade shops. Nothing over here, nothing over there. There's the radio. Turn that out. Off and out. Well, alright, well, I don't know. I'm. Maybe we just upgrade after we reach a certain level or after we do a certain amount of ROs. So this is what we'll take a look at next time. Uh, not that. Uh, 
speed dependent noise and dimming flash or dimming lights on the dash. So that's what we'll take a look at next time. Uh, make sure to keep track of everything. If you subscribe, uh, you get alerts when the new videos come out. Uh, usually I try to put them up about a day before I actually post it on Facebook or anything. So subscribers usually get an early jump. Uh, something I invite you to do. Uh, make sure to like the video so I know that you actually do like it. If you don't like it, put a thumbs down. Uh, um, if you enjoy the series, want me to keep doing it. Uh, I'm not sure how this one's going, but uh, you know, without feedback from you guys, it's kind of hard to say. Um, so if you like the series and want to keep seeing it, or if you want me to do something different with it, or anything like that, just uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the series. Um, I enjoy it as a car mechanic by living. It's fun to come home and play with it on a virtual level. It just means I can never get away from it. But that's alright. I enjoy it. Uh, it's what I went to school for. It's what I work for. It's what pays the bills. So it's all good. All good in the neighborhood. I like it. So um, yeah, just uh, check out the other videos. And thanks for watching.